<laughs> okay, so August is like the hunter-gatherer month in Niyuma. So everybody goes to the forest to pick some blueberries and uh, some mushrooms. Uh, so this is my sister, as you know already, maybe. Uh, and we are with his, uh, her, her three kids in the forest. And we're gonna go and pick blueberries. We have a mission of uh, picking this uh, full bucket of uh, blueberries before the kids get too crazy and we can't do it anymore. So let's see if we can do it. Whew. We also have a baby with us, so it's like... Um, Trip gone wild. We're not sure if we're gonna manage, but uh, there are a lot of blueberries, so let's go. <laughs> This whole forest is like, it's all sand. So if you come to pick blueberries, then you can just put kids on like, on those holes to play. <laughs> Baby is sleeping for like two hours now and uh, I'm, I'm actually hiding in this hole because I don't feel like picking any more blueberries. <laughs> so it's a good hiding place as well. <laughs> just have to be quiet. Okay, I ate too much, too many blueberries, so I can't speak. So Ula, you have to speak. But I will speak. What you got? We got a lot of blueberries. Mm. It's amazing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are not gonna get them for winter. Mm. So, mm. 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 <laughs> but you know, white blueberries are so much better than the cultural mm. one. The ones they sell at most stores that don't make your mouth and hands <laughs> blue, they're not that good. But the wild ones, ah, they're 10 times better. So I know, I think that a lot of people don't know actually how good blueberries are. Yeah. Because they never tasted the wild ones. They made my hands, uh, what is to say? Blue? Uh, purple? No, they, um, dirty? No. Same as my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he got, uh, she got uh, blueberries all over his hair. His hair. Okay. This is so delicious. Mm. Actually, we eat ate, ate like um, all the time, but <laughs> this know. is so much better. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Let's go home and eat this with uh, vanilla ice cream. Good job. Mm. <laughs> in Hiyuma, in the uh, beginning of August, is the coolest event that I know. It's called the uh, Hiyuma Coffee Days. And it's basically people just make uh, like restaurants or like coffee shops in their own, own house or in their own yards. And it's the coolest event. So this year I think they had uh, like uh, 34 coffee shops or something like that. And so like tens of, I think one year, 10,000 people visited those coffee shops. So last year actually we made our own coffee shop. So we had a um, beehive restaurant <laughs> and we had so many people coming and it was the coolest event. Um, 
But basically, yeah, people just make their own menus and uh, just like find some um, really interesting theme that they have to their coffee shop. And I, I just love this event so much. So if you have a chance, come to him in the beginning of uh, of August because it's it's something really unique actually. And he almost started this uh, tradition, and now all over Estonia they are making those coffee, coffee co uh, like home coffee shop days or whatever they call it. Um, and they have a lot of events, like a lot of activities for kids, and just you know, it's it's such a happy time in here. I just love it so much, and it's you know good food, and you can just like drive through different uh, different uh, coffee shops, and you uh, <coughs> find places in here that you wouldn't otherwise see. Uh, so I really recommend it. So I got my coffee, I got my uh, some delicious food. I'm so happy. So we can move on with August now. Okay, August brings us... Oh, I was running so hard with Jack right now, I can't breathe. But August brings us the coolest thing, I think, is the fog it comes down uh, on the fields. And when it's like the sun is setting, I think it's the prettiest to you. So it's like, it's the... the <laughs> I'm too excited. <laughs> the air is so fresh and oh, I just love this atmosphere. You know, the moon is rising and the fog is coming down and getting thicker and the uh, colors in the sky are getting like more intense and it's, oh, it's just, oh, you have survived another day and life is good. We have a lot of customers too, who come and uh, who are on their way back home and they're like, I don't want to leave. And then in three years, they're like, I just bought a house here. And then, I don't know, maybe in 10 years, they're like, I'm never going to leave. Like, for real, people move here. Just just because it's just, it's like a magical land. There's something special about Hiyama. Not everybody feels that. Some people are, like, bored and, like, what is here to do? Like, you know, there are no sightseeing. There are no fancy restaurants, shops. There are no cities. Basically, there is one big, uh, not that big, <laughs> 4,000 people, I think. Oh, but it's just the, the land, the land and the nature and the air and uh, the sunsets and the fog. I just, there's something about Hima that is like, makes people fall in love. My heart belongs for this place. It's, uh, it's a type of connection I haven't felt with any other place. It's home, it's home, I love it. Okay, um... I don't know how to say it, but Jack is eating raspberries <laughs> straight from the raspberries. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> it's the funniest thing. Like, he's actually like eating and like, he seems to really enjoy those raspberries. <laughs> I am so amazed. <laughs> this dog is just like something else. I don't know how to how to describe this dog, but has anybody, does anybody else's dog eat raspberries out of the raspberry tree? <laughs> Today is the last day of August, so we need to finish up this video. Um, so we just took out, the, uh, took the heather honey. The weather was re really nice in August, so uh, we got quite a lot of heather honey. So uh, now we have quite a lot of work <laughs> for the fall, but uh, I mean, it's good, you know, th that means that we had a good summer with the honey business. So the bees are done now. They're not going to collect any more honey. So in September, we're going to get them ready for winter. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, why I'm sitting in this random place is because <laughs> in uh, August, uh, a lot of mushrooms are getting ready. And there's this one really special kind of mushrooms that uh, you don't have much, like you, it's really rare to find them. And there, this is one place where they, we have them. Um, we have found them. And last, <laughs> last night we came here uh, to transport bees and um, we uh, saw those mushrooms, but some of them were like super tiny. So we wanted them to grow a little bit more. So we actually hide the mushrooms away from people because if anybody would drive through the hair, he would see them. So we just actually hide them like right here. <laughs> and we are like so uh, happy with ourselves. And it worked, our camouflage, nobody knew. So <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead 
and pick those. These are the best mushrooms um, that uh, grow in Estonia, in my mind. So I'm so excited about that. Something good in August. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> just give me September, okay? I will see you in the next month. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified every time I post a new video. Uh, feel free to browse around on my channel. I have a lot of cool other nature videos and be safe everybody out there. Okay, it's tough times, but we get through it. Okay, bye. See you on the next one.